गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट दिस वीडियो सेशन इज फॉर क्लास सेकेंड स्टूडेंट सब्जेक्ट मैथेमेटिक्स टर्म टू चैप्टर नंबर टू एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज डिविजन दिस इज आर लेक्चर नंबर थ्री टूडेज टॉपिक्स आर सब्रेक्शन ऑन नंबर लाइन रिलेशन बिटवीन मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिविजन important terms of division okay beta today we will learn about subtraction on number line relation between multiplication and division and important terms used in division understood beta divide 15 by 3 on the number line so here beta in this example what we will learn we will learn about division of 15 by 3 on the number line so here we have a number line and on this number line we have numbers from 0 to 20 okay so our question is divide 15 by 3 so first of all we will move from 0 to 15 okay beta so like this we will move from 0 to 15 now we have to divide it by 3 so we will टेक थ्री थ्री स्टेप्स बैकवर्ड ठीक है हमें इसे थ्री से डिवाइड करना है बेटा इसलिए हम थ्री थ्री स्टेप्स बैकवर्ड लेंगे ओके okay? और कब तक लेंगे जब तक जीरो नहीं आता तो लेट स्टार्ट फिफ्टीन पे हम हैं इस टाइम पे नाउ फोर्टीन थर्टीन ट्वेल्व सो वी विल मूव बैकवर्ड फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेल्व लाइक दिस ओके नाउ ट्वेल्व हम ट्वेल्व पे आ गए बेटा नाउ इलेवन टेन नाइन So we'll reach at nine. Okay. Now again we have to speak backward counting eight, seven, six. So we'll reach at six now. Okay. Nine to six. Now five, four, three. So six to three. And two, one, zero. So three to zero. Understood, Pida? So now we will count how many times we have moved backward. One. Two, three, four, five. So we can say that fifteen divided by three is equal to five. Understood, Pida? Now steps to be followed. हमने कौन से steps follow किए थे, Pida? Again, I am repeating. Number one is first of all move from zero to fifteen. Okay. सबसे पहले हम 0 से 15 पे मूव करेंगे बिकॉज वी हैव टू डिवाइड 15 बाय 3 ओके आफ्टर दैट काउंट थ्री स्टेप्स बैकवर्ड बाय मूविंग टू द लेफ्ट ठीक है हमें लेफ्ट साइड पे मूव करना है बिकॉज वी आर सब्ट्रैक्टिंग ओके नाउ कंटिन्यू सब्ट्रैक्टिंग 3 टिल यू रीच एट 0 ठीक है बेटा जैसे हम रिपीटेड सब्ट्रैक्शन के अंदर करते हैं वैसे ही हमने इसमें तब तक 3 माइनस करते जाना है जब तक हम जीरो पे ना पहुंच जाए ओके आफ्टर दैट नाउ काउंट हाउ मेनी स्टेप्स यू मूव बैकवर्ड ठीक है फिर आपने काउंट करना है कि आपने कितने स्टेप्स बैकवर्ड लिए एंड इन दिस सम वी मूव टू फाइव स्टेप्स बैकवर्ड ओके सो वी कैन से दैट फिफ्टीन डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री इज इक्वल टू फाइव अंडरस्टूड बेटा Now we will do sums of page number thirty-two. Here in A part, it is given divide fourteen by two on the number line. So first of all, we will make a number line like this. Here we have a number line, and on this number line, we have numbers from zero to twenty. So our first step is we have to move to number fourteen from zero to fourteen like this. जीरो से फोर्टीन पे हम आ गए ओके नाउ वी हैव टू डिवाइडेड बाय टू सो वी विल सब्ट्रैक्ट टू नंबर्स फ्रॉम फोर्टीन सो फोर्टीन में से जब हम टू माइनस करेंगे बेटा सो थर्टीन ट्वेल्व वी विल रीच एट नंबर ट्वेल्व आफ्टर दैट इलेवन टेन सो वी विल मूव एट नंबर टेन फ्रॉम ट्वेल्व टू टेन आफ्टर दैट नाइन ए बिकॉज वी हैव टू स्पीक बैकवर्ड अकाउंट ओके बेटा we will reach at number 8 now 7 6 we will move at number 6 now now 
4. We will move from 6 to 4 now. And 3, 2. So, 4, 2, 2. And at the last, 1, 0. Means from 2 to 0. Okay, so now we will count how many times we have moved backward. Okay, so let's start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So how many steps we have moved backward? That is 7 steps. So we can say that 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. Understood, Pita? Now in B part, divide 16 by 4 on the number line. Okay, this is of page number 32. 32 pe, page number pe ye question given a bit. So, here we have a number line from 0 to 20. So, our number is 16. So, first of all, we will move from 0 to 16. Hum 0 se 16 pe move karenge. Now, we have to subtract 4 from 16. So, let's start speaking backward counting. 15, 14, 13, 12. So, we'll move from 16 to 12 backward. Okay. Now, 11, 10, 9, 8. Again, we will move from 12 to 8. Now, 7, 6, 5, 4. Okay. So, we will move from 8 to 4. And after that, 3, 2, 1, 0. 4 may say, when we have 4 minus, kiya, we will reach at number 0. Understood, Pita? Now we will count how many times we moved 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 steps we moved backward. Okay, so we can say that 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. Understood, Bida? Now in C part, divide 18 by 3 on the number line. So here we have a number line. Okay. And on this number line, we have numbers from 0 to 20. So, our number given is 18. We okay, have 18 ko divide karna hai. So, first of all, we will move from 0 to 18. Like this. 0 se hum 18 pe move karenge. Now, we have to divide it by 3. So, we will subtract 3 from 18. So, when we subtract 3 from 18, we have to speak the backward counting. Okay. So, 17. 16, 15. We will move from 18 to 15 backward. Now again subtract 3, 14, 13, 12. So we will move from 15 to 12. Again subtract 3, 11, 10, 9. So we will move from 12 to 9. Now 8, 7, 6. So we will move from 9 to 6. 5, 4, 3. Now we will move from 6 to 3 and 2, 1, 0. So we will move from 3 to 0. Okay. So we have subtracted 3 bar bar. Subtract kiya hai bita. Okay. And kab tak subtract karna hai? Jab tak hum 0 pe nahi pahunch jate. So how many times we have subtracted 3 from 18? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times. So we can say that 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6. Understood, Bida? Now, the next one is relation between multiplication and division. Okay, Bida? Ye hum relation find out karenge multiplication or division ka. So, let's start with an example of page number 30. So, it is given multiplication is the inverse of division. We use multiplication table for division. Multiplication kya hai beta? Division ka ulta. Okay? Multiplication is the inverse of division. Or hum multiplication table use karte hai jab hume division karna hota hai. So let's see how. Here beta, you can see that it is given 7 multiplied by 3 is equal to 21. Multiplication. Okay? 7 multiplied by 3 is equal to 21. We know this table. 7 3s are 21. Okay? This is multiplication. Now, how we can find out 
division from it. Okay. So here we are. When we divide 21 by 7, we will get the another number of this. Okay. And that is 3. So we can see that 21 divided by 7 is equal to 3. This is division. And one more division we can make from it. That is 21 divided by 3 is equal to 7. How we can write it? 21 divided by 3 is equal to 7. So we can say that there are two division facts from multiplication. Okay? Ek multiplication say hum two division facts bana sakte hain. Yaha par dekhen gya ki jab humne 21 ko 7 se divide kiya, we get another number and that is 3. Okay? Aur jab humne 21 ko 3 se divide kiya, then we get number 7. Understood bida? Now, the next one is 4 multiplied by 9 is equal to 36. This is multiplication. We know that when we multiply 4 from 9, se multiply karte hai, our answer is 36. Now, we have to make division facts from it. Okay? So, first of all, we will write this 36, which is our greater number hai, multiply karne ke baad jo number aaya hai, divided by 9 is equal to 4. जब हमने 36 को 9 से डिवाइड किया, तो हमारा आंसर क्या आएगा बेटा? 4. This is division fact. Okay? And another division fact is that 36 divided by 4, okay, is equal to 9. This is also division. Understood बेटा? So from one multiplication, we can make two division facts. Okay? Now, we will learn it with the help of an activity. So here you can see beta we have some apples. So let's count how many apples we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 apples there. Okay. Now we will count in each row how many apples we have. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we will write 4 here. Now in second row 1, 2, 3, 4. We will write 4 here. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4. We will write 4 here. So, in each row, we have 4, 4 apples. Or we can say 3 times we have 4, 4 apples. So, how we can write it? Like this, 3 times 4 apples is equal to 12 apples. Hai na? Abhi humne count kiya tha ki total apples kitne hai? 12. Or kitne times hai? 3 times 1, 2, 3. 3 times 4 apples is equal to 12 apples. Or we can say that 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12 apples. Okay. In another way, we can write it 12 apples divided in 3 rows. Agar hum in 12 apples ko 3 rows mein divide kar rahe hai. So in each row, how many apples are there? 4, 4, 4. So we can write it like this, 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. Understood, Bida? Now the next is important terms used in division. Bida, now we will learn which terms we can use in division. Okay, so the number one is dividend. So what is the spelling of dividend? D-I, V-I, D-E and D. Dividend. What is dividend, beta? The number that is being divided. Wo number jise hume divide karna hai, that is called dividend. Understood, beta? Dividend kya hota hai? Dividend wo number hota hai, jise hume divide karna hai. Jaise suppose koro, 12 chocolates you have to divide. Okay, among 3 children. So, what is dividend here? 12. Because we have to distribute 12 chocolates. Karna hai. So, dividend is 12 here. Understood? Now, the next term used in division is divisor. What is the spelling of divisor, beta? D-I-V-I-S-O-R. Divisor. So, what is divisor? The number that divides another number. Wo number, which we Jitne logo mein hume divide karna beta. Okay, the number that divides another number. 
वो नंबर जो दूसरे नंबर को डिवाइड करता है दैट इज कॉल्ड डिवाइजर जैसे 12 चॉकलेट्स वी हैव टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट इन थ्री चिल्ड्रन सो हे थ्री इज द डिवाइजर अंडरस्टूड बेटा नाउ द नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन सो व्हाट इज क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल लर्न द स्पेलिंग ऑफ दिस q u o t i e n t क्वेश्चन ओके सो व्हाट इज क्वेश्चन द आंसर फाउंड बाय डिवाइडिंग वन एंड नंबर बाय अनदर जो आंसर आता है बेटा डिवीजन करने के बाद ठीक है दैट इज कॉल्ड क्वेश्चन लाइक 12 चॉकलेट्स वी हैव टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट इन थ्री चिल्ड्रन सो ईच चाइल्ड विल गेट हाउ मेनी चॉकलेट्स दैट इज फोर सो हियर फोर इज द क्वेश्चन अंडरस्टूड नाउ वी विल लर्न इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ एग्जांपल सो हियर राइट द डिविजन डिवाइजर एंड क्वेश्चन of the given number okay so here we have given 28 divided by 4 is equal to 7 it is given to us now we have to find out which is the dividend divisor and quotient of these numbers so here we have to divide 28 so 28 is the dividend theek hai beta yahan par 28 hamara kya hai dividend and 4 is the divisor kyunki hame 28 ko 4 mein divide karna hai so here divisor is 4 understood and 7 is the quotient here theek hai har bacche ko suppose here we have 28 toffees and we have to distribute among four children so how many toffees each child will get that is equal to 7 so here quotient is 7 understood beta here 28 is the dividend 4 is the divisor and 7 jo answer aaya hai by dividing these two numbers that is the quotient understood now see one another example of it that is 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3 it is given to us so again we have to find out which is the dividend which is the divisor and which is the quotient so here we have to divide 18 so 18 is the dividend okay and kitne logo mein hame use distribute karna hai 18 ko 6 so here 6 is the divisor okay and 3 is the quotient because after dividing these two numbers the answer found is 3 so here quotient is 3 understood beta now i am giving you homework so today's homework is write the dividend divisor and quotient of the given numbers understood beta so you have to first of all make two lines form it okay and then do these sums in a part 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5 to aapne yahan par alag alag likhna hai beta what is dividend what is divisor and what is quotient in this sum in b part 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6 in c part 28 divided by 7 is equal to 4 and in d part 54 divided by 9 is equal to 6 understood beta now the homework discussion of chapter number 2 lecture number 2 i had given you divide by repeated subtraction okay so let's start in a part it was given that 30 divided by 6 is equal to that so here we have to do these sums with the help of repeated subtraction okay so our first step is 30 minus ओके okay? हम सबसे पहले 6 को 30 में से माइनस करेंगे ओके सो हियर वी विल राइट 30 माइनस 6 सो कीप 30 इन योर माइंड एंड 6 ऑन योर फिंगर्स लेट्स स्टार्ट बैकवर्ड काउंटिंग जब भी हम माइनस करते हैं बेटा वी हैव टू स्टार्ट विद बैकवर्ड काउंटिंग सो लेट्स स्टार्ट 29 28 27 31 32 33 
26, 25, 24. So our answer is 24. Here we will write 24. Now we have to subtract the 6 from 24. So here we will write 24 minus 6. So keep 24 in your mind and 6 on your fingers. Let's start backward counting again. 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18. So we will write 18 here. Okay. Now we have to subtract the 6 from 18. So we'll write 18 here and minus 6. So keep 18 in your mind and 6 on your fingers. Let's start backward counting. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. So we'll write 12 here. Okay. Now 12 minus 6 we have to write. So here we will write 12 first of all. Then minus 6. So keep 12 in your mind and 6 on your fingers. Let's start backward counting. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. So we will write 6 here. Now the last step. 6 minus 6. So we will write here 6 minus 6. And 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. So how many times we have subtracted 6 beta? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times we have subtracted 6. So our answer is number 5. Understood, Bita? In V part, I had given you 12 divided by 4 is equal to dash. So here, we have to subtract 4 from 12. Okay? So first step is 12 minus 4. So keep 12 in your mind and 4 on your fingers. Let's start backward counting. 11, 10, 9, 8. So we'll write 8 here. Okay. Now the next is 8 minus 4. So keep 8 in your mind and 4 on your fingers. Let's start backward counting. 7, 6, 5, 4. So we'll write 4 here. Now we have to subtract the 4 from 4. So 4 minus 4. We will write here 4 minus 4 and that is equal to 0. So how many times we have subtracted 4? 1, 2, 3. So our answer is 3. Now in C part it is given 32 divided by 8 is equal to dash. So here we have to subtract 8 from 32 first of all. So, we will write here 32 minus 8. So, keep 32 in your mind and 8 on your fingers. Let's start backward counting. 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24. So, we will write here 24. Now, we have to subtract 8 from 24. So, here we will write 24 minus 8. So, keep 24 in your mind and 8 on your fingers. Let's start backward counting. 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. So, we'll write 16 here. Now, we have to subtract 8 from 16. So, we'll write here 16 minus 8. So, keep 16 in your mind and 8 on your fingers. Let's start backward counting again. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. So, we will write 8 here. Now, the last step is 8 minus 8. So, we will write here 8 minus 8. So, 8 minus 8 is equal to 0. So, how many times we have subtracted it? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, here we will write 4. Understood? V part, it is given 15 divided by 3 is equal to dash. Okay? So, first step is 15 minus 3. So, keep 15 in your mind and 3 on your fingers. Let's start backward counting. 14. 13, 12. So, we'll write 12 here. 
now we have to subtract 3 from 12 so here we will write 12 minus 3 so keep 12 in your mind and 3 on your fingers let's start backward counting 11 10 9 we will write 9 here now 9 minus 3 so keep 9 in your mind and 3 on your fingers let's start backward counting 8 7 6 so we will write 6 here now we have to subtract 3 from 6 so here we will write 6 minus 3 is equal to dash and that is 3 so we will write 3 here okay now the last step is 3 minus 3 and that is equal to yes that is equal to 0 okay so we will write 0 here so how many times we have subtracted 3 1 2 3 4 5 5 times so we will write 5 here okay thank you